Welcome back to Cottage Designs by Erin, where today we are doing yet another unboxing. I just got home from work and on my porch was this glorious 20 pound box of fabric from MissouriQuiltCompany.com. They guarantee that in this mystery box there will be 20 yards of fabric. It is into bolt materials. The total box was $119, free shipping, tax was $7.44, bringing the grand total to $126.44. So let me show you that, $126.44. So we're going to find out, was it worth it? To those of you who wonder how I afford to buy these things, I have an online sewing business called Cottage Designs by Erin on Etsy, where I sell handmade items like doll clothing and pillows. And then I also get paid now for my YouTube channel. So every now and then I take some of that money and I invest it back and see if these things are really what they say they're worth. So I'm going to move the box over. I have not opened it yet. So let's do this now. see what we have in here. These are exciting. I was not happy with that mood fabric box that I got, but I will say it was still fun to open. Okay. Oh my. Oh my goodness. It's all nice and neat. We have our little thing here. March is National Quilting Month. Okay. Is there any better way to celebrate than with Chuck the Duck? That was in the box. Oh, it already looks beautiful. Beautiful. Oh my, oh my, oh my. So I open it up and this is what it looks like. It's so pretty exciting. Cause I know if there's something in here that I don't like, if I don't want to put it in a quilt, you know darn well I'm going to make a doll dress out of it. Oh my, this is wonderful. Okay, so let's see. So I have more yellow, a bright yellow. Hmm, where's my yardstick at? <laughs> put it somewhere. Hmm. I don't know where my yardstick went. Here it is. It's buried alive on my table. Of course it is. Where else could it possibly be? Okay. So we have yellow. This is a nice, big, generous piece. Oh, a yard exactly. A yard exactly, a bright sunshine yellow. My little grandson, who is four, calls it yo-yo. And yo-yo is his favorite color. So Cannon may have a yellow quilt coming up. Oh, this is pretty, look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Mm, not quite a yard on that one. Okay. You know what's sad? I won't be able to get it all back in the box. That's what's really sad. Okay, and then we have some pretty uh, a little counting beads. I don't know. I'm not crazy about that one. Not crazy about the Abacus. All right, now, what we have here? Oh, some funky elephants. Funky elephants, tie-dye, kind of cool. I'm not gonna measure every piece of this, it's too much. Uh, I don't know what this is, this is strange. Something weird. I like the metallic in it though. I love metallic fabrics. Oh, here's a black floral. Don't you know I love a black floral print? This would be ideal for a little dolly apron. Pinafore. Okay. It's a little bigger than a fat quarter, but not a lot. Ticking. Oh, I love a blue and white. This is very pretty. Mmm. It's a nice, generous piece. Very nice, very pretty. Like a blue delt, who's that by? It's blue. 
Hmm, I don't know. Let's see. Wilmington Prince. I do love blue and white quilts. So I definitely will use that. Oh, here's a pretty peach shell. Not crazy about it, but you know, can always go somewhere. Oh, here's a beautiful, beautiful Northcott Stonehenge, it says. Mm. Okay, before you start saying, well, that wasn't worth it and that's not worth it, you have to realize fat quarters are becoming increasingly more expensive, especially by popular brands. Oh, here's a little star fabric. Let's see who this is by. Moda. Very nice. Moda stars. Mm, we have some kind of panel. Is it a true panel? Oh, no, this is adorable. Cute little barnyard panel. You know what? I think that would make a pretty um, pillowcase for my grandson. That's super sweet. It's got all kinds of little animals on it. And by Clothworks. Very nice. I like to read the selvages because we want to know who made it and if it's any good or not. Okay, what we got here? Elizabeth Studio. Oh, little sewing machine panels. Those are sweet. I'll make a cute little doll quilt or something. I like it. And it's my love pink and black. So that's pretty darling. All right, next we have a hot pink. Maybe I can put that in the Barbie quilt. This is, I got the name off of it. No name on that one. Uh, oh, we have a pink pinstripe. It looks like it goes with this. Oh my gosh, I love me a pink. This Valentine, look, they're playing the telephone game. Oh, that's precious. Who made this? Riley Blake, Riley Blake, little cute Valentine type fabric. Very sweet. Maybe it tells, I wonder if it tells the line. All My Heart by Riley Blake. That is so precious. And here's a matching stripe to go with it to keep for words. And the same pink family. Here's a fuchsia, very nice. Oh my, this is cute. Well, there's quite a bit here on this piece. Let's see here. World of Susie Bee for cloth works. It's got little bees on it. Look how big this piece is. That'd probably be enough to make Grace a little sunsuit. So cute. And if there wasn't enough for bloomers, I could make her solid colored bloomers. Okay, we have breast cancer um, fabric. We have a stripe. This is exciting. Oh, more from, more of that Riley Blake design. Look how sweet it is. It's got little Valentine words on it. Four little puppy dogs all sitting in a line. Everyone begs of you to be my Valentine. Spotty was the first one who ran right back to me. He thought there was some hope, and that left puppies three. Oh, so sweet. It's got a little Scotty dog on it. Super cute. Okay. There's a little scrap of something with a big floral. Tiny scrap. There's a daisy print, ideal for American Girl doll dress. Oh, here's a fancy... Looks like snowflakes on fuchsia. That's not something you see every day. I wonder if it says who makes that. Winter's Kisses from Heaven, it says. Moda. Oh, that's a nice, generous piece. Very big. Super cute. So it looks like they got rid of their winter fabric since it is spring. That's what's happening here. Okay. Now we have a very nice ethnic sort of print. Very pretty. 
Then we have a, kind of a primitive, also by Moda. There's some more matching darker yellows. I have a friend of mine at Quilt Guild who's making a gold quilt, so I'll probably pass those on to her. Oh, here's a cute screen print. Kind of looks like a gingham. It's not a real true gingham, but it's still cute. Bowl of blueberries with cream, it says on the side. I don't know who makes that up. Another pretty print, ideal for American Girl doll apron or something. Here's a little red and cream. Um, here's a very pretty Love Struck by Moda. That's sweet. I love Moda fabrics because they're so thick and just glorious. I don't know who this is or what this is. Here's some kind of little pastel -y print. Moda. There's a blue boutique. I get the salvage off of it, so no news on that one, but it is nice. I've been wanting to make either a red and cream or blue and white old-fashioned snowball quilt. I think that would be fun. Oh, here's a pretty aqua. My daughter loves aqua. Let's see. Who's this by? WilmingtonPrints.com. And that goes with, it's called Something Critters. And that goes with that piece. Oh, we have a dark navy. This is kind of very fall looking. Oh, it's a nice big generous piece. Look at the size of this. Very nice. That's big. Um, what we got here? Fluttering Leaves by Kansas Troubles Quilters by Moda. Like that. It's so nice when the selvage is still on there because that way then, if uh, you need more of this, you can go to eBay and do a search and buy more. Here's a pretty rustic outdoor fabric. Here's another one. 100% cotton stone hinge. I'm not crazy about the stone hinge. That's too dark for me, but somebody somewhere will like it. And here's some little, looks like little wedding rings. And here we have some little gold X's. Here we have some leaves. Kind of looks like tie-dye leaves. And then we have... Oh, a nice piece. Happiness is Shining Mornings and a Bowl of Blueberries. Blueberry Delights by Moda. Ooh, just begging me to make that blue and cream quilt. My, oh my. Okay. And then the last piece. Oh, this is sweet. Little unicorns. Northcott, 100% cotton with sweet, precious little unicorns and lavender and aqua. Isn't that adorable? Okay, so let's see here. This was Northcott. Moda. Riley Blake. This was Moda. Wilmington. How much is that? Wilmington. That had no name on it. This is Moda. One, two, 
three. Cloth works. Got a lot of blue in here. My daughter will love that. This is Moda. So there's a bunch from that blue line from Moda, which is really wonderful that it all goes together. This was all oh, this was Moda. I don't know what that is. This was Moda. Of course, I can't get it all back in the box all pretty, wouldn't you know? This was Riley Blake. Ooh, this red daisy. Won't this be precious for some kind of little patriotic doll dress? That's Moda. Riley Blake. Cloth works. Northcott. I think the I think the batik saw must be Northcott. Riley Blake. Northcott. Uh, I think this was that cloth works. Little star fabric was Moda. Stonehenge. The Stonehenge was Northcott. Blooming Blue. Wilmington. Riley Blake. I like Riley Blake fabric as well. I purchase it for usually novelty prints for my doll dresses. This piece is not marked. Patent pending. Tell me who that weird fabric is by. ABC fabric, no idea. This yellow was Moda. This yellow was Moda. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 26 pieces of fabric here. Oh, if only I could fold it and get it all back in the way it was. 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31. This was all Riley Blake, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37. This was uh, miscellaneous, mainly Northcott, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 47 pieces of fabric. Various sizes. All for $126. So, I mean, I don't know. Tell me below if you thought it was worth it. I think this is wonderful, especially those blue and white fabrics. That's exactly what I needed to make that snowball quilt with. And then I love the Riley Blake pinks, and I can always make Grace 
a doll quilt, which is something I haven't done yet. So I think this is very exciting. Again, this is the Indivolt Mystery Box found on MissouriQuiltCompany.com for $126. It is all 100% cotton, quilter's cotton, okay? So I think it's great. I'm, I'm very happy with it. If you would, leave your comment below, like my video, and subscribe. Thank you.